Hello everybody and welcome to another Locals Report and this one is looking at the pre-release for Paldea Evolved. Um, I didn't make any notes on this, so I'm having to do a lot of things from memory. We opened our build and battles, uh, Kaya and I went together on this. Um, Kaya pulled the Batascalibur one, which is the one that I probably should have stolen, I don't know, didn't. Um, I pulled Pelipper and I was like, eh, okay, good, I guess. The deck itself didn't inspire much uh, with Pelipper. It came with United Wings, which I was kind of like, eh, whatever. So I ended up building around yet another Broken Grass pre-release Pokemon. Uh, Low Kicks is ridiculous. One energy, uh, once it evolves uh, on that turn, if it evolves on that turn, it can do 130 damage broken just ridiculous and it's probably the third arguably fourth in a row pre-release where there's just been a broken grass pokemon that kind of like takes away the fun of playing the pre-release because the decks themselves like the promo pokemon just aren't fun um anyway it went all right okay i ended up pulling a tinglu ex which i stole and i pulled a fue coco alt art so yeah, not too much in the way of, like, actual pulls. Uh, my friend next to me, Michael, pulled really nice stuff, so, you know, he, he got the best of the table, I think. But there was certainly some good pulls in the, in the room. As far as games are concerned, um, I can't remember too much exciting that happening in any of them. I don't really think the pre-release format's that thrilling, to be honest. Um, the first game was a loss again. Okay, got the results on Twitter. So, first game was a loss against United Wings um, for me, and Kaya lost against Pelipper, so we're both uh, on one loss each. I really don't remember much about the game. I think I just got overran by Pokemon being thrown in this card. There's not really much to talk about with the format, really. Uh, next game was a win against Baxcalibur. Um, Ting Lu doing some heavy lifting for me there. Uh, Kao, can't remember what she played, but she won as well. So we're both on 1-1. Um, next up was Pelipper, but actually Ting Lu W, as I'm starting to call it. Against Pelipper, but actually Ting Lu. Someone played the exact same version as me, but I started Ting Lu, powered it up, started taking knockouts. Um, unfortunately, he just couldn't get there. So it was a two, uh, that takes us 2-1-0. Oh. And Kao won against Baxcalibur uh, with her Baxcalibur. So we're both on 2-1-0. Next up is Pelipper versus United Wings. That was a loss. So we're on 2 2 0. Baxcalibur L against Baxcalibur. 2 2 0. And final game, which for some reason is out of order on these tweets. Buh, 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 buh. Pelipper, but it's Ting Lu W against, against Baxcalibur. 3 2 0. And Baxcalibur, Baxcalibur W against United Wings. 3 2 0. So, yeah, most people kind of went the United Wings route. Um. It was weird how many people didn't go for low kicks, actually. Um, I, I, like I said, alluded to earlier, like, I think the last two or three pre-releases, maybe four, have, like, had one broken grass type. It's ridiculous how powerful the pre-release grass Pokemon are. So low kicks again, hitting for 130, absolute nightmare. Before that, we had, uh, I want to say, it's the Silicoon Evolution. It was, like, 50 damage, flip a coin, do any um, status effect. And if you were a good player you knew to go burning for 20 so you were knocking out 70 hp pokemon in between turns it was just stupid uh silver tempest as well a lot of people won't like me saying this but sunflora was probably like one of the better promos it was doing a lot of damage i remember right it was like the different energies you have in your hand discard x and i'll have the card up on screen but it was it was doing like a lot of damage just by having like a rainbow deck basically it was it was really good i ended up um i took on more than a couple of people who are running um fighting type v's in that format and i didn't have to discard much like i just got a two energy cards and suddenly i'm knocking them out for weakness so yeah it was uh it was a fun pre-release um we had six more packs obviously three each for competing in the pre-release nothing out of that so yeah, a bit annoying. We didn't really get anything good. Um, we got two Reverse Hollow Jet Energies, which have gone straight into a deck for next format. We got three Super Rods, no Iono, one Boss's Orders. Yeah, a bit disappointing, really. Um, not one of the best pre-releases, but we both finished 3-2-0. Um, Kaya actually finished ahead of me on Resistance, so well done to her. Um, she finished fifth overall, I was ninth, so... Yeah, not bad. Results will be on screen somewhere. But yeah, that was uh, the pre-release for Paldea Evolved. Next time I do any local reports, um, we should be in the new format. I know Mana Flux is allowing next format cards. I don't know about Geek Retreat, so when I get recorded next week, we'll, we'll, we'll know. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. If you did, all the all of my social media links are in the description below. And if you enjoyed what you've seen here, let me know. If you didn't, also let me know. I can only improve if you tell me. Thank you for watching. I shall see you in the next one. See ya.